What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a video for the iPad. And so they just recently released the newest version of iPad OS. And uh, so it had some really cool features, dark mode, things like that. But one of the things that I have been dying for, they finally, finally gave us. We now have support for external storage on the iPad Pro. So for those of you who don't know, the iPad Pro features a USB Type-C port, okay? So the iPads that have lightning cables or your iPhone were able to use external storage like this little photo fast drive I have here. This is a regular USB to lightning port right here. So you could plug this into your iPhone or the other model iPad iPads and you could use the application that PhotoFast has out there to be able to put files into the application, but you are still very limited to what you could do with those files. You had to stay within the app. But then Apple released the Files app. I can't remember how long ago they just released that, but it was only it was pretty pointless because this allowed you to you can get access to your cloud drives and things like that. But you weren't able to do anything else with it besides, you know, what was already on there or what you were able to uh, connect to from the cloud. But now we have support for external drives. So, for example, if you have a little SSD drive like I have right here, this is my T5, this one I use for all my video editing. So this is a USB Type-C drive. So when you plug in the USB Type-C drive into the iPad, let's see what happens now. So when we click on the Files app, it gives us all the different drives. So on the left side, we have Location. So the iCloud drive is on there, on my iPad, Google Drive, my Dropbox. My Adobe uh, document cloud is on there, but then you, below that you see is little blue. And when you click on little blue, that is the hard drive I use for editing videos. And so here are some folders we have. If I click on some original media, uh, so here we have an audio file. Let's play that real fast so you can see. That's an answering machine beeping sound. So that's an audio file. So I'm able to access all the files on my little hard drive right here. So that is pretty cool. That is pretty crazy. And then I'm thinking to myself, you know, okay, I can believe it that the iPad is able to power up my little tiny SSD drive because this drive is real small. It's tiny, it's small, it does not require that much power. There's no way I'm gonna be able to power up a full normal SS or non-SSD regular hard drive like my my uh, WD Western Digital My Passport, right? This is a big drive that usually you have to plug into a laptop. But you know what? It actually works with that as well. So if we unplug the, my little blue drive, and now we're gonna take this large hard drive. I do have a, a USB Type C or not USB Type C adapter, a cable for this one. So I, you could use a, a hub if you need to, but I'm not using a hub. I'm plugging straight into it. When you plug right into it, if you give it a few seconds, let it speed up and turn on. So boom, there we go. A Rusty videos. Click on that right there, and there we have different files and such. And as same as before, I can click. You can click on audio files, you can do videos, things like that. So even, it'll even power up a normal regular hard drive, even if it's not an SSD tiny hard drive. So this, even if it requires a little bit more power, the iPad is able to spin it up. Okay, so let's check out another scenario. So let's just say you wanna have two external drives, lights, like for example, maybe a, 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 a flash drive and an SD card at the same time. And you can do that as well. So you plug that into there and give it a few seconds. So there's my Lumix SD card that showed up on the on the left side there, there. and now we have the flash drive. So when you go to the flash drive, we have different files, image files. I can save these image files. I can even go up here, click on that. I can copy them, I can save them to the files uh, section. So if I wanted to transfer, let's say I wanted to transfer this image from my flash drive to my SD card, you can go to save the files. You'll get this list right here. There's my SD card, the Lumix. I can tap on that. I can select the folder I want to save it into. And I can literally do normal types of things I would do with my laptop on my iPad. For me, that has been one of the biggest things I feel like that's been holding the iPad back from actually being able to be used as a laptop. Okay, let's say, you know, there's still going to be some things I'd rather do on a laptop than here, especially like video editing and things like that. But for this type of stuff, file management, this is crazy. So let's check out some another scenario. So let's say I wanted to save an image, right? So let's go to the, uh, the Lumix. This is the SD card. We got my image right there. So we're gonna save the image. And so, you know, as you would come to expect, we're gonna save the image. That's gonna place the image in the photos folder. And there it is right there. Pink. So there, save the image straight into, from my flash drive into my photos app on the, on the iPad, which is, that's pretty cool. But let's say I have a, an email with PDF document, okay? This isn't a photo, right? Because the, the iPad's gonna handle photos the same way it always does on all the devices. It's gonna put it in the photo section. But let's say we don't wanna do that. Let's say I wanna save this PDF to the flash drive. So you go up here, I can go to save to files. I can select whatever drive I wanna drop it on, whether it's the flash drive or whatever, or the, the SD card. 
I can select the spot that I want to save it to, save it to there, and now I'm saving documents off of the iPad to whatever external drive I have attached to the iPad. So as you guys can see, this is a pretty cool handy feature to have on the new iPad OS. So I'm gonna check to see if there's any other cool tips or things I can come up with to show you in more videos. If there's anything you have questions about from what I've showed you here, put them down in the, in the comment section below, guys. I'll get back to you guys as quickly as possible. And if you guys wanna check out some of my other videos, I got two clips here you can click on. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can click on my face. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they get dropped on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.